So today I want to do August favorites and it's um, already actually beginning of um, September so it's a little bit late um, but still I did want to kind of um, for myself as well to keep um, a log of things that I go through every month and I decided to go for this format. I hope I'm going to stick to it. Um, I hate promising things um, to myself and you and then not keeping it but um, I think this is kind of what I'm aiming for. So um, there are a few different mediums and this is predominantly a color palette that I want to see how it changes throughout months and when I swatched it out, what I felt was quite interesting is that I actually, um, I'm kind of moving towards the autumn in terms of colors. There are a lot of autumnal colors here and um, it's interesting because in August we had like really, really hot, hot weather and then it went into autumnal weather really um, drastically and I guess that's um, why I'm already ready for the autumnal colors. Um, I'm also in the process of setting up an autumnal color palette which is a watercolor palette and um, I will also share that with you. So um, I try to really focus on just a few things because I've, I've been using this month quite a lot of stuff and experimenting but I picked out or I tried to pick out things that are at most my favorites and those that I have been um, going to again and again. So the first swatches that you can see here, I'll just bring it up a little bit closer to you, are these Posca pens. Um, these particular four colors I think are just so gorgeous and they're actually sold together as a skin tone which I'll show you. So um, they look like this and they have the bigger nib and so these are the PC5M which is medium and then you can get anywhere from between 1.8 to 2.5 millimeters. I'll show you the nib. So these are the four colors and the first one is ivory and we have beige light orange and brown so they are swatched in this order like that i'm sorry about the lighting situation it's just um i'm you know i've got more time these days in the morning and then i'm happy to film but the lighting is never um 100 percent. the sun keeps coming in and out but anyway so yeah, these are the colors and they're beautiful. I love this beige. Um, I had the ivory in another thickness of a nib and I love using that as well. This is a gorgeous color. It's like straight up peach and the brown is also beautiful. It's a very warm, warm tone brown. So I've done some uh, actually sketching with those that I think I shared on my Instagram. Let me just have a quick look so you can see them. Yeah, so these were the sketches that I did and um, other mediums layer beautifully over them. So I layered some watercolors over them as well as in some cases um, pencils and um, like water soluble pencils and yeah, they, they really work beautifully and on top of that you can layer um, more colors of the Posca pens because they are so opaque and you can build up these beautiful kind of um, skin tones and things. So these colors are great not just for the skin tones but they're also great for um, mark making um, in abstract um, art. So that's those. The next ones are Karen Dash Museum Aquarelle pencils. Now I loved pretty much like the whole thing but I did try to pick out three colors that um, I really enjoyed in the month of August um, so here is saffron cinnamon and dark plum which are right here again I'll bring it up close for you to see these are beautiful I'm still planning to uh, do a comparison video with a few of the other watercolor brands pencils that I have 
Um, so the other ones I have is Dervant. And I have the Graphite Tint, again by Dervant. And then the um, Faber-Castell Watercolor Pencil. So I could compare those uh, to see which brand has more pigment, um, etc. Then we're moving on to colored pencils and these are the Holbein colored pencils which obviously is not going to be a surprise because I bought the 50 pastel set and have been really really loving these. These are fantastic, um, obviously before, before investing into that set I made sure that they're great quality and they really are. Um, Actually, you only realize what a fantastic quality a pencil is when you use a not so good quality pencil. Then you realize that big difference where literally you don't need to push hard at all to, to get the pigment on the paper, the colors, the just everything about it is beautiful. So yeah, I would highly recommend the entire set, but these are the colors that I was using quite consistently, which is Ash Rose, Mustard, and of course, Ice Green. So they are swatched out down below here. Beautiful colors. This mustard is um, a gorgeous color for the autumn as well. And then sort of this dusky kind of um, grayish pink is beautiful as well. And then if you want something like a popping color, beautiful so then let's move on to something which is more kind of mixed media um, again and that would be the liquitex acrylic inks now they are gorgeous i've got iridescent bright gold and iridescent rich bronze they are on the thicker side so they're like liquid paints um but they are so beautiful and they are very much you know high quality paints in a way so this is what they are, they're super opaque and the payoff is just gorgeous, it's like liquid metal and um, they're beautiful, really beautiful paints and um, yeah, so I love using them in combination with watercolors and things like that. Finally, let's move on to watercolors on this swatch card and I have Daniel Smith of course. Um, staying faithful to Brett and Daniel Smith but um, the colors I went for are very similar actually once I swatched them out I realized they're very similar to the color pencil palette in the sense that we have this beautiful burned bronze genuine which has a shimmer to it also you will notice all three are granulating colors so I am really much enjoying granulation in watercolors at the minute and this one has that shimmer here that I hopefully can show you like that. Then we have Gothite, which is a brown ochre. And then we have the Viridian, which is also granulating beautiful color. There is a video coming on that as well. Loads of videos I have planned. Um, okay, so this is the color palette for the months of August that I used and there are a couple other things that I wanted to mention that I have really really enjoyed. This one won't be surprised as well because you actually seen me um, talk about it quite a bit on my channel. This is the Brass Bullet a Pencil Sharpener and I believe this is by the brand Kum and it's made in Germany. It's fantastic quality. It has a really nice weight to it and couldn't recommend it more it's a beautiful sharpener it looks doesn't look like much because it's so small that but it just does the job brilliantly um, then um, a new discovery has been this handover coach liner brush which is from oxhair and you can see it's a very unusual brush it's very long and um, basically you can create these beautiful brush marks with it I'll try to show you there's actually a video where I played around um, creating this page so I'll try to link it up here for you but this is what it looks like when you play with it it's got these beautiful kind of marks you can create as well as on this side here 
and um, yeah it's been a lot of fun it's very flimsy once you get it wet because you obviously can imagine this hair gets quite heavy from the water and then there is no way of like precision or writing with it or anything like that it just you kind of start moving your wrist rotating your wrist and creating these beautiful marks and then lastly i'd like to um, mention this beautiful um, journal that I have really really enjoyed I mean everything just looks gorgeous on this paper and I just love it it's um it's one of those that makes everything pop the colors look bright uh, it's actually 100% cotton this paper it's not too thick it's not as thick as um, the um, what are they called the better series from uh, Stillman and Burn, so um, it's a little bit less. I'll tell you all the info in a second. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. I think granulation looks beautiful, um, watercolor pencils, just anything that I've tried. I couldn't complain about a single thing here. Colored pencils, just yeah, great paper. It has a little bit of texture, it's a little bit off white if I hold it against this one and um, love 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 it so this is the mixed media let me just find the info for it so it's the Strathmore mixed media art journal and it's got 64 pages 100% cotton acid free archival quality and it's got the paper is 190 GSM and this is the size of the journal. I'll try to link it down below for you. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.